And welcome back to the Bald Olden Details channel. This week we have another pressure wash review. Yeah, this big boy. No, not this big boy. This big boy. We're going to find out what it's all about. I've been using this for a little while now. Is it as impressive as they say it is? Do they say it's impressive? I don't know. I just did. Anyway, grab a big bowl of crisps, an even bigger glass of gin, and roll the video. So here we go then. Big boy pressure washer detailer series. Wash R. Flow. That's a long name. We're just going to call it the big boy washer. So much easier. So on the back of the machine, you have your quick release attachments sat in their little holders. On the front of the machine, you have the on off switch. And of course, you have your inlet and outlet. The water inlet on the right has a filter on it. Handy little thing to have. Stop any crud going in your motor. And we have an updated quick release brass attachment for your Lance hose. It used to be plastic. So there we have our nice lightweight gun. Another brass attachment on the end. And it's just a simple on off switch. Also in the kit, you will get a snow foam lance, snow foam bottle if you like, wide neck version, handy. And on the back, you get a carry handle. You can wheel it around. Turn your water on and get that water in the machine. Always good to do this, good practice. You know you've got a decent flow going through, no kinks in the hose. Just a little bit of a safety thing really. Then attach your lance pipe and you are good to go. Almost, got to turn it on yet, Paul. And she springs into life. Some stats for you, more about the stats throughout the video. So we're gonna use the green attachment, which is the 25 degree nozzle. And I'm gonna shut up for a bit and just let you listen to the machine. So that was just with my camera mic. No added booms or anything, no sound effects, just with my camera mic. It's not particularly loud, I think you'll agree. So some APC on the tire, we're just gonna show bits of me cleaning this car. It's a bit of a demo, so you get to see what this thing's capable of. Laser Industries pump foamer there with some uh, high definition details, breakthrough shampoo. And we're busting out the wheel willies this week. My car has been sat in the depot for quite some time. It's pretty nasty, it's pretty grimy. It may not look it, but it is. Take it from me, it's not clean. I almost thought he was gonna go in there double-handed then. New wheel mitt time now. This is from SGC BUK. It's a small noodle mitt. Very handy for getting in behind the spokes. Just the right size. You'll find if you use your old mitts, just your general wash mitts, they're a bit too big, a bit too clumsy. This is just the right size. So thanks to Caton for sending that down. Top tip for you, detail guards. I'll put a link underneath where you can get these from. These are perfect, they stop you snagging your hoses. So you can kind of get the idea of my stance. Now I happen to be just under six foot five, so I've got to bend down a little bit. And it's a one-handed operation. It's very, very light, this is. It's one thing I did notice. Hello, two hands, you just told me one. This bloke's a liar. To get in under the arches, you've got to stick that lance right in there. I'm trying not to spray your face. 
So when it comes to changing the attachments over, it is just a simple affair of pulling that back and then pushing that in. Just check you've got it on and before you pull the trigger, point it away from the car. I did that off camera. Yes, I did. So this one is the 15 degree nozzle. This happens to be the most, well, most aggressive we use in the car industry. You don't really want to use the red one, that's used for cutting up fruit or cheese. So obviously it's got a narrower spread of water, it's a lot more aggressive. It's still perfectly safe though. So we have a brushless motor, 1600 watts. The seven liters per minute water flow rate. And an eight meter commercial grade hose. Mm. Now this has a little button on here. This is a bit of a safety thing to stop you pressing the trigger accidentally and taking someone's eye out or firing a guinea pig across, across a garden. Another lovely brass attachment, very, very similar to the Neil Fisk. It's got that bayonet connection. That's it, give it a, that's it. Give it a pull, that's what it looks like. So because it's so lightweight, it doesn't really hurt your back or anything when you're going and doing these low down bits. Bearing in mind I am the size of a giant. Always good to get right in the door jams there. Shoot the water in. Make sure your windows are shut. So as you can see, there is not a lot of protection left on the Skoda. We'll be topping that up later on. Getting ready for another little road trip up to North Wales. Yes, I am going up Snowdon this year. God help me. Me and my wife are going to take on the challenge of walking up Snowdon. If you don't hear from me, from me in the next six months, I'm still up there. Now this is a very capable machine. It's great, brilliant for rinsing. It's great for doing all those rather mucky jobs. There is, however, a little bit of a niggle. More about this at the end of the video. Now, as I said, I'm rather tall. I just find this a bit easier with a stubby gun. It's a bit cack-handed for me. Now you're probably thinking, well, hang on a minute. All pressure washers are the same unless you've got that conversion. Yes, they are. I'm just being very, very fussy. Wow, look at all that protection on my roof. Not. Snow foam time now, Dodo Juice, iFoam Max TFR Snow Foam. Thanks to Dom, got quite a few products sent down from Dodo Juice. Around about 100 mil of this, then top it up with water. No, we didn't put bottled water in there. What do you think, I'm a millionaire? Although to be fair, it's better than the stuff that comes out the tap. Once again, the quick release, Bosch. We're good to go. This is where you'll notice the extra oomph. Boy, this makes some seriously thick foam. That 2,600 PSI. <whistles> it's shaving foam time. I'm so glad I wore thick trousers on a hot summer's day. What is going on with our weather? I went out in the morning, I was freezing. By this time, I was sweating like a man possessed. So this is fully adjustable. You can adjust the fan like you can on these snow foam guns. And it does deliver the product rather quickly.
So we're gonna leave this for around about 10 minutes. And it's off to another rinse. Now you can use the large white nozzle. That's the 40 degree one. It's got a bigger spread on it. I just choose to use the 25 degree one. I just find I toggle between the two, the 15 and the 25. If you're gonna do like a, a wax rinse, like a wet coat product, then you're probably gonna use the 40 degree nozzle. I've been using these for quite some time, these nozzles on my new office machine. I just find it's force of habit, to be honest with you. Just make sure you put them back on the machine. Don't put them in your pockets and then throw your trousers in the washing, washing machine. Only a fool would do such a thing. So what's this like, this pre-wash, is it any good? I'll show you. Not bad, eh? So when it comes to the smaller areas, the door jams and around the boot area, you want to switch to the narrow one. This is the 15 degree one. And don't squirt any water in your car like that. What a loser. And that is about it, ladies and gents. That is the demo of the big boy washer from Ultimate Finish. Lots of talky stuff and all that sort of malarkey to finish with. Stick around, watch to the end. Okay, so that is the big boy washer from Ultimate Finish. Let's have the talky stuff now. What do we actually think of this machine? Our true and honest opinion. Now, even though this machine was sent down for free, I've got to give you guys my honest opinion because this is the guide to maybe you thinking about purchasing one of these. Now, it's this. This is the little bit of a con. It's this lance. There's nothing really wrong with it. It's very, very light and it fits in there lovely. It's got this lovely brass fitting. It's when you come to do the roof. Now I am six foot four and a bit, nearly six foot five in my high heels, only a weekend, six foot five. So you've seen me in videos, I kind of dwarf most things. I'm not exactly small. And I just find it a bit cack handy when I'm doing the roof on a vehicle, as opposed to one of these, which is a stubby gun. And this is a conversion. I've had this for quite some time. This is a high definition conversion kit. These aren't exactly the cheapest things in the world, but they are very, very handy. I just find it's a bit easier when I'm gonna do a roof. Bonnets, boots, trunks, if you're in America and the rest of the world, it's not a problem with one of these. It's very, very light. This is such a small niggle. It's just me being very, very fussy, I suppose. Can you get a conversion kit for this? I don't know. Not at this time. Uh, this is me being really super, super fussy. This is my only real niggle. So that aside, this is an upgrade, by the way, on the Neil Fisk, so, you know, this is a separate in issue in, entirely. I have to make a different video about that, a, a comparison video. The actual machine is very capable. Uh, the one thing I love about this is the amount of power this thing produces, 2,600 PSI, which is around about 179 point something bar, I believe. Uh, it's got some kick. Um, when you get down to the, the yellow nozzle, you really, you know, it's really, it's, blasting time it's not gonna do any damage don't worry but it does remove the grime on the car it's very light and ergonomically friendly you know you can move this around you don't get achy arms i mean i'm quite a fairly big chap when it comes to putting this on you will need two hands there's no question about it you fill this up with liquid but you do that anyway i think a lot of the machines see it uh, the american style videos they don't bother going down to a stubby going to just leave the lance on and just put this on this machine you've got no choice you've got this on all the time you can't just put that in that because this is quick release this is quick release this isn't this bit isn't so that's my only gripe but it's such a nice machine to use I've been using this a little while now it's very very quiet and lots of you are going to be looking at this thinking well what about that hose that hose length sure that's not long enough it is you actually can get around the car uh, my advice to you, as you've seen in the video, use the detail guards, use that with any pressure washer. It'll save you snagging your hose underneath your tires. Links for all this stuff is underneath the video as ever. So on the whole, I really like this machine. Okay, the important bit now, it's the price bit. 
how much is this going to cost me? £249 this machine is. Now, if you work out, you had to buy a Karcher or a Neofisk and you wanted to have the upgraded hose and the quick release system with all different coloured nozzles and a decent snow foam lance, I think it's going to cost you more money. So in that respect, it's a bit of a bargain because everything's in the box, it's all ready to go. You can go and do your driveway detailing. If you're a hobbyist, if you're a professional, it might be the machine for you if you're on a bit of a budget. Bearing in mind how much the Kranzel machines are, for a decent Kranzel machine, you're talking high 500s. So it's half the money. So in that respect, I think it's a really big bang for your buck. All the links underneath this video, if you're interested in this machine, Put your comments in. I'd love to know what you guys think about these videos. I'd love to know what you think about this machine. If you're interested in this machine, you can send me a personal DM if you want. If you're a bit more, if you want a bit more information about it, um, I am pretty much 24/7, apart from Sundays when I have a bit of a day off. Let me know what you think about this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Keep subscribing, guys. You've been absolutely amazing this year, and you've been really patient as well, waiting for these videos to come out. So stick with it. Thanks to Ultimate Finish for sending this machine down. More videos on the way pretty soon. Take care, guys. See you later.